Tonight, questions over who will take the top job at Seminole County Schools. Yeah, we told you last night at 11, the school board rescinded its vote two weeks after approving a new superintendent. Now we are asking what happens next. News 6's Amanda Castro went looking for answers. Motion passes 3-2. A reversal leaving Seminole County Schools without a new leader. School board members voting Tuesday night to rescind their vote for Chad Farnsworth to become the next superintendent. I'm concerned about our 3-2 vote lacked context. Our votes were perhaps cast without the kind of back and forth that leads to sound decisions. Two weeks ago, the board voted to appoint Farnsworth as the next superintendent. Some members saying his teaching experience was important. Choosing him over Sarita Bowman, who has served as the attorney for Seminole County Schools for 16 years. Last week, she turned in her resignation. Concerned citizens speaking out last night about the two candidates. You could have really made in this great moment in time to demonstrate equity and diversity in leadership in our education system. But you missed, you missed a great opportunity. You make the best decisions with the information you have. What is dangerous is second guessing those decisions and moving backwards. The vote wasn't on the agenda. Board member Christine Krauss telling News 6 in an email today, quote, the vote was a surprise to us. Board member Amy Pinnock taking to Facebook, writing, quote, there were many individuals that came to the meeting to speak to one side of the issue. However, and because it was not noticed on the agenda, I am concerned that individuals with different perspectives were not given the same notice and opportunity to be heard. Now the board is taking up this issue again. The district saying they'll have a better idea of the next steps after a special board meeting scheduled for Monday. I reached out to both Farnsworth and Bowman to get reaction to last night's vote, but I never heard back. The district spokesperson telling me that they would prefer to not comment publicly until this full process plays out. Reporting in the newsroom, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.